Look at that boy. Look how much skin he's showing. Look at his calf muscles. Oh, you can see him ripple. Oh my gosh. He at me. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Look at that clothing. What is he wearing? Oh my gosh. We should be able to wear that. We should. Our parents would never allow it though. You know what? Let's do it anyways. Hey, quit showing so much skin. We would like to introduce everyone to the two fine vessels that will be taking us across the feared ocean to the new world. The Mayflower and uh, the Speedwell. Um, I think the speedwell's got a leak. Th that's not good. I think we'll have to test it. This is, um, test two of the speedwell to see if it's got a leak. I, I think we're good, you know. See? It looks good. Okay, steady? Yeah, kitty. Maybe, um... um. Oh, yes. 
should we settle? I don't know, but I'm a little scared. Th there's not enough shelter here, let's keep going. <coughs> All right, let's keep walking. People of Plymouth, it is clear that we do not have the proper form of government that we would have had in Jamestown. And without it, we surely cannot succeed. So in my hand, I hold a contract, clarifying what shall be and what shall not be. And at this time, we would like to appoint our new governor, John Carver. He is a bold man, he is a strong man, and he will carry us through these hard times. John Carver, could you please step forward? Congratulations, sir. You will surely be a great governor. It's so cold. Oh, how will we survive this winter? I don't know. My whole family is already dying. I know. <laughs> and John Carver's dying. You're dying. John Carver is dying. Oh, goodbye, John. John you Carver. served us. After a very hard, very cold winter, we all have felt losses, but none more than the death of our good governor, John Carver. And after the storm, it is time to pick up our heads and pick a new governor. So William Bradford, please come forward and be our new governor. Our new governor, everybody. Hooray. Oh. I'm so hungry. I, I could eat anything by now. Oh, I know. <gasps> what is that? Something's coming from the woods. Oh, it's an Indian. Hello, I am Squanto. How? I have heard of your many troubles with finding food and resources. How? Oh yes, we are so hungry. Can you help us at all? Have you not learned to put your Fishes with the corn of the earth to make them prosper. I see. Can you show us more? Yes. You take fishes and lay with corn. Berry and corn prosper. <gasps> we will not starve. No. Thank, Thank you. you. At the first Thanksgiving in the Tony yet. We are here at the first Thanksgiving in the New World. What a great Thanksgiving it shall be. Let's give thanks. Dear Lord, I thank you so much for blessing us, for giving us peace as we traveled. Lord God, I pray that we would be able to make a difference in this new world, God, and that you would help us and that through hardships and hard times, I thank you that you've been here for us, Jesus. And I just pray that we will be able to use our religion and how much we love you in a positive way in this new world. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And in Squanto, we would like to thank you especially for reaching out to us in our time of need when we knew nothing of how to gain food. You reached out to us and you showed us. Squanto, thank you so much. You are so welcome. With all my heart, I pour out gratitude to your peoples for letting my people help your people. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs>